Hello friends and welcome yet to the next episode of Glasses and You. This is the third episode in the whole series. I hope you enjoyed watching the first two as much as I enjoyed making them. This episode is everything to do with lenses. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Eye Institute. If you haven't subscribed to my channel of eye logs, make sure that you click to the subscribe button and get the next notification whenever I come out with the next video. The first topic for today is the types of lenses. So there are various types of lenses that are there. They're called single vision, they're called bifocal, they're called trifocal, and there is also called progressive. Now let's understand each type of the lens that is there in the market. The first one I mentioned is called the single vision lens. That means the whole lens has got the same power. It can be used either for reading or it can be used for distance and they are called single vision. This is an example of a single vision lens. The next type I mentioned was called the bifocal lenses. Bifocal is simple English, bifocal. So two distances can be covered, distance and reading. There are various types of bifocal lenses they're called trip top, they're called flat top D, and these types of lenses are useful mainly for reading and to see distance objects. As I mentioned, there are different types of bifocal. This is an example of a flat top D. Let's look at another example also called the trip top bifocal. So this is an example of a trip top bifocal lens. The third type of a bifocal is called the executive bifocal. So you will see a line running across that divides the distance vision and the near vision. So the advantage of the executive bifocal is that you get a larger area of reading. So that's the advantage. But the disadvantage is many patients find it difficult to walk in an executive bifocal because it comes in the way when you look down and walk. So that's one care that you have to take if you make an executive bifocal. The next type is called the trifocal. It's simple English, trifocal. So it covers the distance, the intermediate, which is your iPad distance, computer distance, also called the working distance. And the last part is the near vision. So there are trifocal and three lines that are present in that kind of a lens. The most popular today is called the progressive. There are lots of advantages of the progressive lens. The progressive basically, if you look at the lens of the progressive, there is absolutely no line. So you will not be seeing a dividing line in that kind of a lens. The big advantage of the progressive lens that is used is that you can see distance, you can see intermediate, and you can see near in one straight line. So that's the advantage of a progressive lens. The big advantage of a progressive lens is the invisible lines which are not there. And that's the reason why it's a big benefit for cosmetic reasons. So actually, the opposite person really does not know that you have reading glasses. There's a trick in using progressive lenses. I do get patients who are very unhappy when they first time make the progressive lens. And this is a very important part I want you to understand. One, of course, they have to be made well. And please look at my other episode on glasses that will tell you a reason and answer why they should be made and how they are correctly made. In progressive lenses, if they're made properly, there's a trick how to use them. If you're looking straight, you get a multifocality. But if you want to look to the right and you want to look to the left, we normally tend to look to the right or to the left. You cannot do this in progressive lenses. If you do this in progressive lenses, you get a prismatic effect and you will not be happy. So in progressive glasses, if you want to look to the right or you want to look to the left, please make sure that you turn your head to the right and you get progressive vision. You want to look to the left, look to the left and you get multifocality. So this is the big advantage of progressive glasses. It takes a little while to get used to them, but once you're used to them, you will love them. Since we have already discussed types of lenses, let's get into the material of lenses. But before understanding the different kinds of materials, let us understand one concept of refractive index. Different lens materials have different refractive index, and that actually determines how thick your lens is going to be. The refractive index of the lens is the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in the lens material. Higher the refractive number, 
or the refractive index of that material, more light will refract through that material as the light enters that material. If the material has greater ability to refract light, lesser curvature is necessary to manufacture that lens. So summary is, please don't get confused, higher the refractive index of the material, thinner is your lens. However, higher the refractive index of the material, the more expensive is that lens. So that's a little disadvantage. So let me show you an example of a thickness of the lens related to the refractive index of the material. So as you can see this, this is an extremely thick lens and a similar thing can be extremely thin. So as I mentioned, higher the refractive index, thinner the lens. Of course, the disadvantage is the cost that goes up. So having spoken about types of lenses, we are now going to the next topic after understanding the refractive index on materials of lenses. You all know that there is glass, there is plastic, there is polycarbonate, and there's high refractive glass material. So let's understand the pros and cons of each. The first one being the glass. The most popular material used in lenses is the glass. The big advantage of glass is it is scratch resistant. There is nothing like scratch proof glass as far as glasses for frames is concerned. The disadvantage of glass is it's heavy. But the big advantage is it can be made really thin. As I mentioned in my refractive index of the material, glass can have a refractive index of 1.7, 1.8 and 1.90. The 1.90 glass is going to be extremely thin. And of course, it's going to be extremely expensive. The pros are superior optics, it's a very stable material and it's scratch resistant. The cons of glass are, it's heavy. And of course, if there's an impact, it tends to shatter. If it does shatter, the big advantage is it becomes small pieces and falls on the floor. And that's the reason why it is manufactured in that fashion and it's safe. The second material is called the CR39. It's a plastic lens it's made of hard resin. It's 50% lighter than glass. The disadvantage is, of course, it's not as much scratch resistant as glass. So let's understand the pros and cons of this material. The pros are lighter than glass, readily tintable, and less likely to fall. The cons are susceptible to scratching. Lower index of refraction makes it less suitable for high powered prescriptions because that will make the glass thicker. The next material is very interesting. It's called the polycarbonate glass. It means it is more shatter resistant. It's the same technology that's used for bulletproof glass in cars. And this is the best material for children and glasses. So let's look at the pros and cons of this material. The pros are thinner and lighter material than glass and plastic and highly impact resistant. The cons are poor optical quality and of course susceptible to scratching. Another disadvantage of this is anti-glare peels off very easily in polycarbonate lenses. So it does not really hold on very well. The fourth material is called Trivex. The big advantage of this material, it combines the good properties of the third material, which is polycarbonate, and it is very light. So this is a big advantage of this material. And the optical quality, it becomes even better than polycarbonate. Pros are impact resistant to polycarbonate, it has better optical quality than polycarbonate. It's tintable and is the lightest material that's there in the market. Inherent UV protection and the, another big advantage is high tensile strength and that's the reason why it's ideal to drill a mount. So that's the small drilling that happens in the lens when you want to mount a frame. The con is, of course, it's susceptible to scratching. The fifth material is high refractive index plastic lenses. It can be 1.58 or 1.78. The biggest advantage is that this lens will become extremely thin. And the reason it becomes thin, it becomes lighter. So this is again a type of plastic. So this high refractive index plastic lens is a big advantage for patients who have a high number. So minus nine, minus 10. The big advantage of this lens is that that prescription will become a thinner lens. Because it will become a thinner lens, it will become a lighter lens. The pros are thinner and lighter than glass and plastic. 
This leads to a better optical quality than polycarbonate. The cons are, of course, susceptible to scratching, susceptible to the backside and inner surface of reflections. Of course, this can be corrected by anti reflector coating. So, friends, this episode covered all the types of lenses. The most important, what is the understanding of refractive index of lenses and the material used in manufacturing of lenses. The future episodes is going to cover even more interesting topics about coating for lenses, how to maintain your glasses, and of course, how to prevent fogging of your glasses when you're wearing the mask. And this, I've got a lot of requests from patients that please do an episode on this. Look out for the next few episodes on this series of glasses and you.